Good morning everyone, welcome again to my channel. Today we are making veggie spring rolls with our raw vegetables and it's gonna be a great addition to your healthy diet. And let's see how we can get started. We are going to do two types of veggie spring rolls and it will be like a part one and part two video, but I'm just gonna show you how we are gonna start with the raw veggie spring rolls. And I have the ingredients right over here. I have the celery sticks that I freshly cut and of course our cabbage, shredded cabbage, and this is the pea uh, sprouts so this is the brand that I got it's no peas shoots and uh, it is sprouted as you can see and then over here I have the shredded carrots and cucumber shredded and some broccoli over here and the most important ingredient is the rice paper for this recipe we are going to use the square rice paper which is easy to roll our spring rolls into this and I have warm water over here and let's get started. Okay, I have a round plate for me to submerge everything. And I'm just gonna pour my warm water here. Make sure it's not too hot or too cold. We just want it to be soaked in here. So, I have the square paper. I'm just going to give it a small wash, not too much. I'm just going to put it uh, into my plate over here and I'm just going to start putting uh, my veggies here. You can even add some uh, salted peppers if you like peppers. Uh, I just don't want this to be too spicy. I'm just adding these. These are very fresh. You can make your own fresh wraps here. There you go, spring wrap is ready. And I'm just going to show how to roll one more time. It's very simple and easy. Just take the sheet, give it a wash. And make sure it's not there for too long. If not, it's going to be very hard to work with. Or uh, also make sure that it is not there for a less amount of time. You just uh, don't want to just dip it and take it out. You want it to keep it for like a good two to three seconds and give it a wash. Make sure it's completely immersed. And now, let's do this again. Okay. I'm going to put some broccoli. Celery. Cabbage, cucumbers. Cucumbers are very healthy. So usually I sprout at home, but uh, today I didn't have time to show you that. So I'm just going to use the ones that I brought from the store. We can also do green moong sprouts, any type of sprouts. It's very easy to roll in here. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time. Just give it a wash. And like I said, make sure it's not too hot or too cold. So there you go. It's still a little hard. And I'm just going to put it in. And I'm going to start loading my veggies here with my celery, cucumbers. You don't want to overcrowd it. If not, it's going to be hard to roll. So I just wanted to put everything on top over here. And then some sprouts over here. So if it will roll like that. Literally shove it in here. Then make it in like that. Yep. There we go. And uh, these are the two spring rolls that I made. And the next one I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna show how you can make your spicy spring rolls. And I'll be back. Okay, now for our second part, we are getting ready with our spicy veggie spring rolls. This is really uncalled for, maybe you have never seen it in uh, different videos in the YouTube, but uh, I like to make it this way because my family likes to eat a little bit of spicy. They don't like too raw in their diet, uh, which is okay. So I'm going to add the olive oil. I have a big uh, mixing pan over here and maybe one to two tablespoon of olive oil should do the magic. And I'm just going to add my uh, spices, thyme and garlic powder 
and the whole Egyptian basil over here and oregano and I have a pinch of salt maybe half a teaspoon of salt depending on how much you're making or quite a teaspoon and then I have my uh, black pepper you can also use cayenne pepper if you want really spicy I'm just using grounded black pepper and voila our seasoning is ready I'm just gonna mix it in a little bit Okay, now that our uh, spice is ready, we're just going to add whatever we're going to put in our veggie spring roll. The same uh, vegetables that I'm adding, it's very simple. And some cucumbers. And then I'm going to use my hand and I'm going to mix it in. You can also add turmeric uh, if you like uh, the yellow kind of tinge to it. Definitely you can do that. I'm just going to go wash my hand and get ready for our spring roll. Okay, now we are going to take our rice paper, like usual. And we are just going to take it and put it in the warm water here. Give it a wash. It's the same way we did the other spring roll. It's just that we are adding some spices to this one. And then I'm going to keep it here and I'm just going to do my spices here. Spicy vegetable. And just have to go ahead. Just have to get them on a line here, not too much on the end, but Just going to put it in my plate over here. So if you can see, you can see the difference between the regular raw ones and the spicy ones. And I'm just going to do one more time to show how it is done again, the rolling. And this comes with practice. It's not really rocket science. It's very easy to do. If you like spicy guys, definitely add the cayenne pepper. It really is delicious when you add the cayenne pepper. It adds a very good tint to it. So, here we are. Just make sure they are all worked up on the side. And towards the uh, middle. And just have to close it like this. So here is a tip, uh, if you leave this for long, it will become soft, so if uh, you have a hard time working it out when it is really rough, you can just loosen it up a little bit and then start doing it, and here we go. Our veggie spring rolls are ready, and our spicy veggie spring rolls are also ready. Enjoy your snack, or if it is your breakfast, I eat it for snack as well, and my kids love it. Alright, so for our sauce, we don't use soy sauce because this is a soy-free kitchen and soy-free recipe for our uh, veggie spring rolls. We need to make a sauce. So, we are going to make avocado ginger sauce. I just learned it from my new friend that it is better than any soy sauce. Although we don't use any sauce, we just use our own chutney being in an Indian kitchen. But this is going to really kill it. And I'm just going to show you what I have here. And I have taken my avocado oil. This is the brand that I use. I have poured it into my cup over here. And I have the uh, ginger zest. I just... Um, shredded it a little bit and you can use more ginger if you like really spicy kind of uh, ginger it is healthy either way it is anti-inflammatory as well and i'm just going to go ahead and grind it you can also put it in your pan and heat it and kind of let it melt but i like to grind it and i'll be back i just made it i'm just going to pour it in and as i pour it in you can see the zest is still there not completely blended that's the way it's supposed to be and it is okay if you have a little bit of zest it really comes very well when you taste it and this is our avocado ginger sauce and it is perfect for our spring rolls and i'm going to show one demo on that okay i have already started eating a little bit of my uh, spring roll but i'm just going to do one more and just to see. Mm. Mm. 
Wow. It adds a very fresh ginger tone to it along with our veggie spring rolls. This is really tasty. I just meant to wait. We added some ground pepper and some salt because this one was not too uh, spicy for us. But you can always play around with some cayenne pepper and everything. This is one of the most healthiest sauce that you can ever taste. And uh, we don't want to do a lot of soy in our diet. And of course, this is a soy free diet. And this is a great sauce for our dipping and you saw me dip that and it tastes delicious. So if you like it, this is the gluten-free vegan veggie spring rolls. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel.